Hi guys, let's talk oral admin and Canvas. So there's two different kinds of quizzes and you approach oral admin differently in both. So um, in classic, I think that's the easier one. Uh, when you write a question, you're gonna be in this rich content or editor or RCE. And there's a button in here that has little music notes and a little play button. And this is where you're going to record your voice to go with the question. So you're gonna click this, you're gonna to go to record, if you have a webcam, it's going to show your picture, but you can always go down to webcam and say no video. All right. And then you just record your voice. So three, two, one. How many points do you get for a reversal in folk style wrestling? Finish. All right. Give it a title, just something that's easy for you to recognize the titles for you. It won't show up for the students. Okay. So um, maybe this is. Uh, whatever okay save and this embeds this right in your question for you you can kind of play with um you know do you want that to appear at the beginning or the end it's not beautiful it's not something that we can make smaller it's it's kind of annoying but um but it's a player it's obvious that it's a player it's obvious that it's sound so they will know that they can play that to hear the question read now in your answer choices sometimes and we'll talk about which questions this applies to but sometimes you can do this as well um, you will not automatically see the rich content editor here um, it normally looks like this so when you start to uh, type in your answer choices um, and you go i'm going to type in the answer you don't have the full rich content editor and so you don't have the recorder but if you click the pencil icon then that whole thing shows up for you and now you have the recorder so you can record their answer choice all right now let's look at new new quizzes and see how that looks different um, in new quizzes you actually have to record all of your sound files ahead of time and upload them uh, as you write the questions so in this uh, the rich content editor looks a little different you would be using this button the upload media button it's not the one that looks like the video um, you would use this button and you'd select the audio tab and then you could drag and drop your sound file here or browse for a sound file now just as a caveat um, just so you know some phones and some things record in m4a format um, and that is not a supported format in canvas so it will not let you choose that um, it really has to be something like um, mp mp3 so not m4a that's the one it doesn't do okay so um, you might have to test this, play with this, find a tool that works for you to do quick recordings. Um, and I can work with you on that. Um, I'm still working on that to find the best, fastest, easiest way, way to do that um, if you are interested. All right, so that's how you do that. Let's take a look real quickly at the kinds of questions that you can do this on. So um, every question stem supports this edition of the sound file, okay? But only some of them uh, support that sound file being added to the answer choices. Multiple choice, multiple answer, and ordering are the ones. Ordering is in new quizzes. Um, I will say, though, that when you have an ordering question, that's a drag and drop situation. And so Canvas will give the students a label at the top and a label at the bottom so that they know how to order them. And it will not read the labels, okay, just so you know. Um, all of the ones at the bottom here are ones that they don't provide you the response to start with, so it's not going to read anything. These support the question stem only. Um, true, false, I put over here, you know, the kids may be so familiar with true and false and those words, they may not need those words read aloud. And so those would be fine. Um, but matching doesn't, formula, categorization, fill in the blank and hotspot also don't um, support that in the answer choices. Okay, just so you know. Also, I wanna warn you that if you are doing something and you are enabling Canvas to shuffle the answer choices, then be very careful and don't record answer choices in your question. Um, because I know that one way that uh, people might do this is to just record, as they record the question, record all of the answer choices as well at the same time, instead of having to do separate uh, recordings for every single answer. Um, and that's fine as long as you don't shuffle the questions. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know and I am happy to help.